So I've made a few videos about tolerance breaks and why I don't really take them. But several years ago, I did take a tolerance break. And this is one of the topics that I get asked about constantly. And I'm going to continue to get asked about constantly. But I figured I'd take this opportunity to tell you of the story of the time I took my very first intentional tolerance break. This was about eight years ago. And I had taken unintentional tolerance breaks before. You run out of weed and your plug doesn't get any for a few days. Or you don't get paid till tomorrow so you can't buy anything. There was a few times where I took a tolerance break or a day or two off unintentionally, I would have smoked if I had it. But the first time I ever took a tolerance break happened because I was doing what a lot of people do, smoking too much. I wasn't managing when I was smoking or how much I was smoking. If I had weed, I smoked it. I was working as a personal trainer and as a martial arts instructor at the time. I would work out every day, two times a day. I'd smoke before I go to the gym so I could power through my workout. And then I'd smoke after the gym so I could relax and get those protein shakes down a little easier. Well, I was finding myself smoking more and more. They were kind of going around my workouts before and after. And I was just blowing through weed. There's a few people I smoked with at the time. And we would all smoke together. We're all smoking more and more. So we started talking about how much we're spending and how we're not really getting as high. So we do what most people do. You pump out that buzzword tolerance break and you think you have the solution to everything. Oh yeah, we're all just going to take a tolerance break. We'll take a few weeks off. Everybody's tolerance will reset to back when they were a baby again and we could start our weed journeys over anew. I used to think that. I don't know. It's not It's not really like that. Unless you're taking years off, you're really not resetting anything. But I heard the word tolerance break and I was like, bada boom, let's go. This is it. We got our fix. It's a break. You take a break and you fix. Well, at the same time, I was actually preparing for a Spartan race. This is like an outdoor race they do. You run a few miles, you do some obstacles like crawl under barbed wire, throw some javelins, carry a big old bag of sand up some stairs and down some stairs. You do weird stuff and you pay money to do it. I used to be super into fitness. Fitness dick in your mouth. So things like this were really appealing to me. Oh, you mean I could just pay him money and I could just go do a bunch of exercise for a while? It was cool at the time. Well, I wasn't taking a tolerance break to prepare for the Spartan race, but the timing kind of worked out. It was like a few weeks out. I was like, oh, dude, I'm just going to take a tolerance break. And by the time I do the Spartan race, it'll have been a few weeks. So I'll do my race. And then afterwards, I'm just going to smoke and get super fucking lit. So I had to get the shirt to check, but this happened in 2014. So it was about eight years ago. And taking a tolerance break sucks. I think they're terrible. I think they're trash. I think usually you go to take one when you're smoking way too much. Some people take one because they want to get a job or something, but some people just smoke way too much. They're just overdoing it. So their way to fix it is just to stop doing it completely. It's a bad way to do it. Really bad way to do it. But that's how I did it. I just stopped smoking one day. I picked a date on the calendar and I was like, all right, that's the day I'm going to smoke. It was rough. But after my first workout, all I wanted to do was smoke. I was like, yeah, bro, I'm going to fucking smoke, do some stretches, drink my protein shake. And I'm like, oh, fuck, that's right. I'm on a shitty tolerance break. So I did what any reasonable person would do who couldn't smoke. I started watching the show Weeds. I started watching a show all about weeds so I could just think about weed all the time and not smoke it. I do think it's funny when people tell me they watch my Twitch streams. I do smoke sessions on Twitch after 9 p.m. while they're on a tolerance break. They're like, oh, I can't smoke, but I'll watch you smoke. I used to think it was a little weird, but now when I think back to this, I'm like, oh, yeah, it totally makes sense. You want to live vicariously through somebody a little bit because you still want to get high. Well, I started watching Weeds. Solid show. I haven't watched it since then, and I wonder if it still holds up, but... It was a pretty good show. I I do recall liking it, but I wasn't smoking while I was watching it. So is it really as good as I thought? Well, the tolerance break was hard for me. I went from smoking a ton, but I was in a little group of people. There was a few of us we seshed together and we were all taking the tolerance break. So I had a little group support. Well, like a few days into this tolerance break, we go to another friend's house and there's three of us that are on a tolerance break. And the fourth friend offers us some weed. Like, hey, you want to smoke? And the two other people I'm with are like, yeah, let's smoke. And I'm like, hey, guys, we're on this tolerance break. We're all in it together, right? And they both look at me like, I'm not going to turn down free weed. I'm just like, fuck. Why do I have the most self-control out of anyone I know? I haven't had a soda in over 10 years. I just decided one day that soda was bad and I don't want to drink it anymore. And I haven't had a soda in over 10 years. Why do I have the most self-control out of anyone I know? Anyway, they start smoking. I'm like, fuck, I really want to smoke. But I already dug myself in this shitty tolerance break hole. I gotta wait till the shitty fucking Spartan race to smoke after that for my big epic celebration. So I didn't smoke that day. Fuck. I wanted to. I think there were a couple opportunities that came up. I just had to get tunnel vision in my zone and I was just training as much as I could. But honestly, because I was smoking before and after every workout, 
My next several workouts after I started my tolerance break were pretty bad. I wasn't able to do as much. I just wasn't feeling it. For most people, if you go from over smoking to just stopping completely without trying to slow down in between, you got problems with your stomach. You got problems with your sleep. Some people just feel sick for a little while. It's better to slowly stop smoking than to just way overdo it and then stop completely. It's weird. But a couple weeks went by. I think it was almost three weeks out from when I started the tolerance break, but not quite. And I think halfway through, halfway through the plan to stop smoking and then start again after the race, halfway through, I gave up. I was like, this sucks. I couldn't get good workouts in. I felt like I was going to waste my money on the race. I felt like I was going to show up race day and just not feel it. You know, I felt like I was not going to be able to do it. Smoking at the time was like a good aid to my workout. It helped me prep. I think I smoked before I actually did the race. So maybe be like a couple weeks in. I don't remember exactly. I want to say like 11 or 13 days or something before I just decided like this isn't helping me. I just decided to take a tolerance break and I don't understand why or how it's really going to fucking benefit me. But I do recall that first that first bull hit after a couple of weeks after so many days off was the only bull hit I needed. I took a nice big rip. I was like, all right, let me take some deep breaths. Let me take the biggest rip I can and just see what it does. I got so high off that one rip. And then I just slipped right back into my old habits. A couple of days after I ended my tolerance break and I was like, yeah, wow, I can really tell a difference in the high. I'd smoke like an eighth in a session, be like, oh, fuck, I'm right back to where I started. So after this is when I decided that there was a better way to do it and I just didn't understand yet. I think one of the reasons I started smoking after nine o'clock, I think it was maybe after eight o'clock at the time, was to save money. I was like, if I just smoke all day, I could go through $50 a weed before I even have my fucking nighttime smoke sesh before I go to sleep. So part of it was money related. I used to spend a lot more on weed. This is several years ago. Obviously, I couldn't go into the dispensary. But part of it was to save money. And then over time, I learned that, wow, if I don't smoke for 20 hours and then I smoke, I get fucking high. It gives my body enough time to reset and get ready for the next one. If I wait eight hours again to smoke or 12 hours again to smoke, I don't get as high as if I wait 20 hours. So something I learned from me personally years ago, so I talk about moderation a lot. And if you want to hear more of my opinions on tolerance and why I recommend a tolerance fix over a tolerance break, check out this video. Tolerance breaks are a scam. Later, my dudes.